Hey guys, I'm Brett, the Nerding Engineer. I want to talk about why I think Autopilot 2 still lags behind Autopilot 1. When Tesla unveiled Autopilot 2, Elon Musk said that it was going to surpass Autopilot 1 in as little as 6 months. So why didn't that happen? For a little background, Autopilot 1 used Mobileye for the camera vision system, and Tesla built Autopilot on top of that. Whereas with Autopilot 2, Tesla decided to build the camera vision system themselves. I think they realized that the data was really the most important part in developing a self-driving car, and they didn't want to be at the mercy of some other company. Unfortunately, during the breakup with Mobileye, Tesla was not able to work out a deal where they were allowed to convert the data from Autopilot 1 to Autopilot 2. And that really set them back, because Tesla was planning on using all of the data that they had gathered from their Autopilot 1 system to help train the Autopilot 2 system. Now, even though this transition to Autopilot 2 has been rough, I think it was the right move in the long run. As we all know, Tesla moves a lot faster than most other companies, and I think eventually it was Mobileye would not have been able to keep up with the pace of development that Tesla demands. So why is Autopilot 2 still lagging behind Autopilot 1? Well, it has to do with the data. Uh, Autopilot learns through machine learning, so when you're driving around, Autopilot is basically watching what you're doing and teaching itself how to drive. So the more data, the more miles on Autopilot, then the faster it's going to learn. The Autopilot 1 hardware was launched in October 2014, and to date there are approximately 115,000 Autopilot 1 cars. Autopilot 2 hardware was launched in October 2016, and as of the end of... Uh, 2017, there were approximately 125,000 Autopilot 2 cars. Now, you might be saying, well, if there's more Autopilot 2 cars, then it should have more data and it should be better than Autopilot 1. Well, that's not exactly the case because you have to look at how many miles each system has been driven. With Autopilot 1, the cars have been on the road longer. The average age of an Autopilot 1 car is about two years, whereas the average age of an Autopilot 2 car is only six months. So now if we assume that the average Tesla drives around 15,000 miles a year, then that puts the total number of miles under Autopilot 1 at 3.7 billion miles, and Autopilot 2 only at 1.2 billion miles. So Autopilot 1's got three times the amount of miles that Autopilot 2 has. Even with an aggressive ramp up of the Model 3, I calculate that Autopilot 2 is not going to surpass the total number of miles of Autopilot 1 until early 2019, so that's a year away. However, it's important to note that uh, a mile of Autopilot 1 data is not equivalent to a mile of Autopilot 2 data. Autopilot 2 has eight cameras around the car, and it's powered by effectively a supercomputer, whereas Autopilot 1 has a single camera up front, and it's run off of basically a computer graphics card. So uh, it's night and day in terms of computing power and what the system can actually see. Now you might be saying, well, if Autopilot 2 is not even as good on the interstate as Autopilot 1, then it's going to take Tesla forever before they are able to drive down city streets and stuff and become fully autonomous. Well, that's not exactly the case because it's not like Tesla is only collecting data while you're driving down the interstate right now. Uh, they're collecting data all the time. And so they have you know, millions of miles of city driving for Autopilot 2 that the system's learning, it's recording all that data, it's just that Tesla hasn't actually released any features based on that yet. You know, they're waiting until it's safe enough before they start turning on those type of features. And I mean, for all we know, they may wait until they can flip the switch to fully self-driving and to kind of cut down on the likelihood of accidents. So I mentioned earlier that Autopilot uses machine learning to teach itself. And you might be saying, well, what does that mean? A good example of that is the windshield wipers. In Autopilot 1 and basically every other car that has automatic windshield wipers, there's a sensor built into the windshield to detect when it's raining or not. With Autopilot 2, Tesla decided to save some money and forego that sensor. Instead, they're actually using the camera to determine whether or not the windshield wipers need to turn on. And they could have done that by you know, curating thousands of videos and pictures of rain on the windshield, having somebody manually go through and tag all these pictures and videos and say, okay, under these scenarios, you need to run the windshield wipers. But that's really labor intensive. So instead, what I think they did is they used machine learning 
to where the car basically was just listening. And anytime somebody would turn the windshield wiper blades on, the car would take note of what the video looked like. And over time, it developed a huge um, library of video saying, okay, if the video starts to look like this, I need to run the windshield wipers. And after a while, when Tesla had enough data, it was reliable enough, and they flipped the switch and, and tr pushed out a software update overnight, and the next day, Cars with Autopilot 2 had automatic windshield wiper blades. And that's really cool. It's just, I think it's just the beginning of the functionality that Tesla's going to be able to bring through machine learning. Another example, when Tesla start to become fully self-driving, I don't think they're going to have a bunch of programmers sitting there coding, okay, when you're going to turn right, you turn your blinker on at this distance, unless you're going this speed, then you do this distance from the turn. You know, that just takes way too much time. It's you know, prone for errors and all that stuff. Instead, what I think the system is going to do is it's just going to watch us. You know, they have hundreds of thousands of people driving Teslas right now that turn their blinker on and turn and autopilot can learn and say, okay, if I'm driving this speed and I'm turning right, I want to turn my blinker on this far before the turn. Or if I'm going this speed, I want to do it that far. And they're just going to have thousands and thousands of data points to where, or millions of data points, and that's how the system is going to learn. And that's pretty neat to think about. <laughs> like, we, we are actually teaching Teslas how to drive. Like, that, that's just crazy. But uh, that's the beauty of machine learning. And Tesla, I think, is doing a phenomenal job of leveraging that to build Autopilot. Well, do you guys agree with my assessment of why Autopilot 2 is lagging Autopilot 1? And do you think the breakup with Mobileye actually was a good decision for Tesla? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Ooh, also, let me know when you think Teslas are going to be uh, fully self-driving. Uh, I've got a number in my mind, but uh, I'm, I'll put it down in the comments down below. I'm curious to see what you guys think, uh, if I'm too optimistic or too conservative. But that that's going to be the game changer. Once Tesla flips the switch to fully autonomous, uh, game over. I mean, why are you going to buy something else? Uh, don't forget, if you are looking to buy a Tesla, if you use a referral code, you can get free unlimited supercharging for as long as you own the car. I'll put my referral code in the video description down below. So if you're ordering online, you can just click on that link and order through there. Or if you're ordering through an owner advisor, like at a Tesla store, you can just give them my referral code and they can manually enter that for you and make sure you get hooked up with the unlimited supercharging. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and also uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, that way you see my upcoming videos. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.